Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Graciela. How are you, teacher? I'm good. How about you? Good, too. <laughs> but good. What about your baby? Is he uh, sleeping? Is he sleeping mm, right now? No, he isn't. His father is taking care of him. He wants to sleep. However, um, he doesn't like to sleep with him. He prefers mm. to be with me. I don't know why. He's waiting for you. Yes. He's waiting for you. Absolutely. Okay. He loves too much his mom. Yeah, so, so do I. I. Believe me that I really love him a lot too because he is my, my well, he's a piece of me and he's so yes, cute. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. I okay. think that the boys uh, love more his mom and the girls are uh, the, the, the love of, his, of our life is our father. I Definitely, think. yes. I totally agree with you because that happens to me. But also I, yes. I, I love my mom. I, I love both. Yes. But with the one that I'm really bond with is with my dad. He is basically yes. my everything. Mm -hmm. I think so. I I always say that I look like my father. Even <laughs> old people say, no, you look like your mom. No, I look like my father. <laughs> <laughs> and I really look like my mother. I, I, I don't accept it. Yeah, yes, the same happens to me. Only my first sister is, well, my oldest sister is the one that looks like my father and I'm look like my mom. Mm. Mm. My, one of the, the girls here, I say, you look like your daddy. Yes, and your sister too. No, she looks like my mom. <laughs> I only look like my father. No, both of them, I say. No, she doesn't accept. No, uh, only me. <laughs> okay, only you. But yeah. no, both look like her father. That's really good. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, before I forget, um, I remember that you mentioned, Graciela, that you had problems with part B of the final exam because you couldn't find green and part, I think. Um, yes. We submitted I the think feedback. That this map... Yes. I think that this, this map is not, no es el de esto, porque yo, yo no encontré, o sea, yo estaba revisándolo hoy, Y dice que la estación de gas está entre el hospital y la estación de gas para mí está frente al hospital. Ah. Entonces yo soy la que no entiendo. Ok, bueno, yes. I, I... Let me check. Ok, so we are going to be working on that because we submitted the feedback for that map and they fixed it. Because if you remember previously, um the options or the places we had were different so now they change them and it was better for me because believe me that you were not the only one i had other people that had the same problem and that's something that we are going to be doing right now okay okay hi sarita how are you Hi, teacher. Hi, five. Thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> and are you ready for the final exam? No, teacher. Why not? <laughs> no. But why? All clear, todo. Ah, okay. All clear. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I really like that. And how about you, Alex? Thank you. Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. 
Excellent. And did you finish with the final exam? Yes, teacher, I finished. Okay, excellent. Okay, so it's time already. So I'm going to begin with you. And as you know, in the final exam, let me just put it here. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, we have, okay, five sections, if I'm not mistaken, or six this time. Yes. Okay, so the first activity, so we have six, right? Yes. Okay, hmm, I remember that I, that I had cleared this. Okay. Okay. So we are going to begin with the list. This is something really easy, believe me. Um, basically, if the only thing that you need to do is to pay attention to what they are saying and see what's going to happen. Uh, I remember that I told you for the midterm that something that you can do so it can be easier for you to answer these type of activities is to read the question and the possible answers that we have so we know what we need to identify so we can answer easily. So first of all, you can see that there we have the first question that says, where are Helen and Mark going? Graciela, can you read the answers please, the possible answers? Yes. The field a bank and a department store, a bank and a gas station, a gas station and a department store. Thank you. Sarita, can you read the second question and possible answers, please? On Second Street, on the corner of First and, and Main, on Main between First and Second. Okay, thank you. We have question three that says, how do you get there? Alex, can you read the options, please? Walk up second to main, turn left. Walk down second to main, turn right. Walk up second to main, turn right. Okay, thank you. And the last one, um, what is Mark going to buy? Kate, can you read the options, please? Uh, um, I sweet shirt, I tie, I sweater. Okay, thank you. So you can see that we have four questions that we need to answer and we have the options. So we are going to listen right now, okay? And then you're going to tell me what the correct answers are, okay? Um, okay, so here it is. Okay, let me know if you can listen, okay? Okay, I don't know why this happened to me. Sorry. So let's try again. Or did I? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Can you listen? Units 13 to 14 yes. quiz. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Okay, so on the first conversation, can you tell me where are they going? 
Bank and department store. Bank and a department store. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Sure okay. about it. Okay, yes. excellent. So let's listen to the second conversation. Uh oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. Okay. With the second conversation, can you tell me where is Smith Department Store? Second one, on the corner of First in May. Are you 100% sure? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes. So let's continue. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. Uh-huh. And how do you get there? Walk up second to Main and turn right. Okay. Excellent. And the last one, let's listen. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no. Not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. So what is he going to buy? A sweater. A sweater. A sweater, teacher. Okay, a sweater. Okay, perfect. Me están 100% seguros que esas son las respuestas. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. I really like that. Easy, right? Easy. Okay. Easy, easy. You like my head. <laughs> okay. Let me see. <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure that I don't have... Okay, yeah, it is answered. So give me just a few seconds. Um, I was explaining to Graciela that with this second part, there was a mistake, okay? That, well, there were some options or some places that you were asked, but the answers were not correct. So this, this is something that was fixed today, and we are going to be checking it right now, okay? So in case that you finished working on it and didn't check it today, this is something that was updated, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can see here that we have completed sentences. Look at the map to complete the sentences, okay? Um, the map, okay, it's here, okay? I'll make it a little bit bigger. And the first one says, the department store is Main Street. So if you look at the map, you can, you can see that here we have the department store. So what is your answer going to be? Um, let me see, Josue Mauricio. Um, at the end, in, in it is tension. We are is, in number one. The department yeah. store is. Um, the department store is on Main Street. Okay, on Main Street. Thank you. Number two, Brian. Yes. The gas station is between the hospital between the hospital yes okay this is the gas station and this is the hospital 
So is it between? Let's see the options. We have across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. Let's look at the map again. Okay. Here we have the gas station and here we have the hospital. Um, Eh, teacher, este solamente hay una ahí. Bueno, cuando yo estaba haciendo el, el examen, eh, probé de otra forma y la y de la forma que me agarró fue between. Vaya, ¿y hace cuánto uh -huh. fue que lo hizo? Eh, bueno, hace aproximadamente unos tres días. Ok, sí, este, les comentaba a sus compañeros que esta parte fue modificada porque habían errores, honestamente. Uh, las oh. preguntas no concordaban con las opciones que daba ahí la plataforma. Entonces, hablamos de eso, ¿verdad? Y se modificó. Entonces, ahorita, si usted me dice que la gasolinera está en medio del hospital o entre el hospital, honestamente no, no, no concuerda. Sí, sí, sí. sí, porque aquí es el hospital y la gasolinera está ¿dónde? Across from. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué significa across from? Al cruzar la calle. Ah, ok. Sí, 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 eso es algo que sí, créanme, se ha modificado, porque sí, no, no concordaban, honestamente. Entonces, se, sí. se dio la retroalimentación de ellos y hoy en la tarde me notificaron a mí que ya habían arreglado eso. Ok. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Yo hice lo que el compañero también. Ajá. Yo lo puse la primera a cross front y me la tiraba mala. Uh -huh. Y la única que me tiró buena fue Between, aunque no concordaba, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero este, ya lo envié así. Y ya me lo dieron uh -huh. por bueno. No sé si tendría que volver a hacerlo. Porque ya me, di, ya me mandaron hasta el certificado también. Uh -huh. Y en el certificado, ¿qué porcentaje le da? De nota, ¿le da? 100. 100 de 100, ok, entonces 100 ya 100. está, perfecto, si eso no le ha afectado en lo que es el progreso o su nota, pues no hay que, no, no hay de no, qué preocuparse, no que preocuparse. ok, 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 thank you, so let's see the next one, um, let me see, Sara Martínez, sí teacher, number two, The department store is, sorry. We are here, number two. Next. Okay, it says. Me, no, number two. Yes. Fíjese, teacher, que este es el ejercicio en el que yo he tenido problemas. Okay, ¿y qué tipo de problemas ha tenido? Vaya, eh, eh, póngame por favorcito las opciones, please. Ok. So we are here, number two. The department store is yeah. across from. Is across on, from, on, between, next to, y on the corner. On the corner of. Vaya, si me voy al mapa, we're talking about the department store mm -hmm. and the bank. Ok. Next. We have the department store is the bank. And you can see the picture here. Uh, 
Ajá. Al lado del restaurante. No, no, no. Uh, the number two says, the department store is the bank. La tienda de departamentos está al banco. So you can see. Al lado. Okay. And how al lado. You say across al from. Lado? Across from. Mm, across from. Sería como que estuviera acá, del otro lado. How do you say a la par de? Next to teacher. Está segura. A la, a la par. Ok. Next. A la par, teacher. Ok. Next to. 100% segura. Sí, teacher. Ok, excellent. I really like that. Ok. Then we have, the bank is the department store and Maria's restaurant. Uh, let me see. This one is going to be for... Hmm. Josué Mauricio. The between 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 the department store and Maria's restaurant. Thank you. And the last one, Sarita, the restaurant is Sarita. Hi, teacher. Okay, the last question is for you. The restaurant is Main Street and Green Avenue. You can see here we have the restaurant. And here we have, let me check, Main Street and Green Avenue. Main Street. Enseñame el mapa, porfa. Here it is. Porfa, uh -huh. The restaurant. Yes, here we have the restaurant. Uh, next to, or the corner of. Okay, ¿cuál de las dos entonces? In, on the corner of. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we have that the restaurant is on the corner of. Main Street, and it says there Green Avenue, but you can see that here it says Green <coughs> Avenue. Okay, so let's check. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're moving to the next part. Um, any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. No, teacher. No. Okay. No, teacher. Easy, right? Easy. Okay, perfect. So we're going to begin with part C. Select the best answer. And we're going to have K reading, okay? So let me just share screen with you right now. Okay, so here it is. Okay, case number one. Were your parents born in the USA? Okay, and here we have the option. No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. I grew up in Tokyo. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998, or I, sorry, it was a little scary. First, the first teacher. One. The first one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Alex, number two. Where, sorry, where did you grow up? Okay. And um, I grow 
grew up in Tokyo. Okay, thank you. I grew up in Tokyo. Okay. Here it is. Uh, Brian, number three. Who was your first English teacher? Okay. Is my my first English teacher was Mario Sato. Was? Sorry, Brian, can you read that one more time, please? My first English teacher was Mario Sato. Ah, uh, you know this is Mario. Mr. Mr. Sato. Okay. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, let me see. We're going to have with the next one, Graciela. Okay. The answer is, when did you come to New York? Um, the, the option is, I came to, June, I came to New York in 1998. Excellent. And the last one, Sara Martinez. How, how are you? How are you for day in the use? How are you? Or how was? How are you? Uh -uh. How, how are you? Far, no, far, no. How? Okay. How was Sara? You feel you feel days in the use. You um, yes. Uh, they they were my parents were bo born in Japan. Is that the answer? Sara, it was it uh -huh. was scary. It okay. was a light scary. Excuse a me, little. teacher. Excuse me. Is is a little. Aha, es esa. Okay, excellent. Allí. It was a little scary. Scary. Okay, thank you. And can you read question five, please? Sarah, can you read the question, please? One more time. Uh, in... No, no tengo ninguna pregunta, teacher. No, no, no. Puede leer la pregunta. A leer de nuevo. Más. Sí. Claro que sí. How, how, how was your first days in the US? US. You say, you say or use? U. US. S. US. Okay. US. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, teacher. Yes? I think that is a little mistake in the, uh, in the number five. Number now five. That, in, on, es, es que no, permítame. Es que en una de las oraciones decía first en lugar de first. Aquí, ah, sí, esa es la número tres. Sí, es la número tres que dice ah, my sí. first ah, okay. English first. teacher was. Sí, ahí hay otro pequeñísimo error, verdad? Pero es first. first. Okay. okay. Y yo first. creo que solo en esa. Eh, no, en todas las opciones la da sí. Si se fija acá. Está igual. Ah, okay. Yeah. Veamos la otra. My igual. Uh -huh. Yes. But that's a little mistake. But the answer, well, the option that you just gave me is the correct one. Okay. So let's check. Okay. Excellent. Okay. For this part, is there any question that you may have? No? No, teacher. Ok. ¿Seguro que no hay preguntas? Mm, 
yes, easy, I, right? I don't have question. Okay, excellent. So we're going to go to the next part. Letter D. Okay, so let's share that information yeah, right now. Okay, so here it is. It says, uh, match the verbs with the correct words or phrases. So you can see we have number one, hat, Sarita. Yes. Hat, a picnic. Okay, excellent. Hey, played. Uh, tennis. Okay, perfect. Took. Um, Brian. Photos. Okay, photos. Um, went. Mauricio. Streaming. Perfect. And, oops, sorry. And the last one, so, um, Graciela. A place. Okay, excellent. The, the one. The so one. let's go ahead and submit that one. Excellent. No. I think that that was that one of the easiest parts, wasn't it? Eso fue lo más fácil de este examen, ¿o no? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we're moving to the next part. Just give me a few seconds, okay? Okay. So here we go. Part E, it says complete the conversations. Uh, for these conversations, let me see how many I have today. Okay. Será que no sabían que había clases ahora o se les habrá olvidado? <laughs> yeah, because no they querían only... enfrentarse al examen, teacher. And it was easy. <laughs> sí, it sí. was so easy. Yes. Okay. Yes, so sí, sí. <laughs> we're going to begin. Let me see with Alex. Alex. Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. Okay, number one. Sorry, teacher. Do you have a good weekend? Okay, thank you. Uh, number 1.1, Kate. Okay. Teacher, sorry, me sacó de la clase el, el Inter, me está fallando. Ah, ok. Pero, Hola. Sí, le escucho. escuché mi nombre. <laughs> Uh, yes, we are on the next one, 1.1, not really, I, all weekend. Uh, Leo la, la pregunta y digo la respuesta. Por favor. Oh. Ok, ok. Not really, uh, I studied all weekend. Ok. ¿Cuál de las tres opciones es? La first. Ok. ¿Por qué es la primera? Eh, por el it, it, it. ¿Y por qué no la, la última? terminación. Porque cuando hay una eh, Y, no se puede, sino que se convierte en Y latina, ED. Ah, excelente. 
Excellent. Ok, solamente recuerden que es consonante más Y. Ok. okay. Sí. Sí, si es consonante más Y, elimino la Y y agrego IED. Pero si es una vocal más Y, solamente agrego ED. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Ok, number two. Um, Sara Martínez. Anything last weekend? Okay. Uh, did did they uh, anyth anything last weekend? So you're saying that this is the correct answer? Yeah. ¿Segura que esa yeah. es la respuesta correcta? Yeah, sí. No nos hace falta algo. Póngame las opciones, porfa, teacher. Ok, no era problem. Anything last weekend. Y un, un momentito, por favor. Lo sure. estoy tratando de comprender. Sure, take your time. Did, did they... And, did they La siguiente, teacher. Did? Did they did? ¿Segura? Yeah. Sí. 100% Anything segura. Anything we... Sí. Sí, para mí sí. Did they, sí. Anything last weekend. Sí, teacher. Ok. Uh, remember something that we mentioned is that when we are using the auxiliary D, the verb is going to go back to its base form. Algo que habíamos mencionado es que cuando nosotros usamos el auxiliar D, el verbo regresa a su forma normal. Entonces... Did they do, teacher. Excellent. Sí. Esto es algo que nos va a ocurrir cuando estamos they do? utilizando el D o el didn't, ¿ok? El verbo va a regresar yeah, a teacher. su estado normal, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio, the next one. Hello. Yes, they... When... Ok. Hiking... Hiking... In the wood. Hiking in the wood. woods. Woods. Okay, thank you. Um, let me see. Brian, number three. And did she get? Did she get? Uh -huh. Did she get anything at the mall? Thank you. And the last one, let me see, uh, Sarita. No, she went shopping, but she didn't anything. But she didn't. Bye. Anything. Okay, perfect. Anything. Excellent. Um, vaya, de esta parte que acabamos de resolver, no sé si tienen preguntas o si está claro. Is everything clear? Para mí, teacher, está claro, solo que hay que acordarnos la regla de cuando usamos el DIN. Ah, ¿y qué dijimos Para ayer? no confundirnos. Ajá. ¿Y que cuando lo... usamos el DIN, su... sí, que cuando usamos DIN en una oración o en una pregunta, el verbo regresa a su forma normal. Correcto. 
Después Eso la... debemos de tratar de comprender para no equivocarnos. Sí, Ajá. A mí tal vez algo que me ayudó siempre, porque yo igual tuve mucho ese problema antes de que me confundía, modificaba el verbo cuando se, ocup cuando se ocupaba como auxiliar el did. Pero todo lo que hice después de pensarme que en realidad en todas las preguntas no va a cambiar el, el verbo. Prácticamente va a cambiar el verbo solamente cuando se hacen preguntas con have, que no me recuerdo cómo se llama el tiempo. Pero de lo contrario, a mí eso fue lo que me ayudó en lo personal, que en, la, en las preguntas el verbo se va a mantener siempre en su, o sea, en su estado normal, que no se va a modificar. Ok, excelente. Vaya, el único donde sí se modifica, ya sean oraciones afirmativas, negativas o preguntas, es en presente perfecto. Que ahí estamos Exacto. viendo lo que es el participio, ¿verdad? El verbo en participio. Cuando se, cuando se ocupa el have y have it, que es negativo. Correcto. ¿sí no? sí. Ah, ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Por eso es que en el listado de verbos ustedes pueden ver los verbos en su forma infinitiva, pasado simple y el otro que es participio. El participio se utiliza más que todo para el presente perfecto o pasado perfecto. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Y sí, como decía Alex, ¿verdad? O sea, una forma de recordar eso es que en la mayoría de las preguntas o no, u oraciones negativas, ¿verdad? Si yo estoy usando lo que es el don't o el didn't, el verbo siempre va a ir en su forma normal o va a regresar a lo que era su forma normal, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you, Alex. So, we're going to continue. This is the last part that we have on this final exam that was easy, honestly. And we are going to read this short article that we have. And Graciela, you're going to read the first, um, let me see. Okay, I'm going to tell you to stop, okay? Yo les voy a ir diciendo hasta dónde van a llegar para que podamos leer todos, okay? So let's begin, Graciela, please. Home alone, Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. Thank you. He got up early on Saturday. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Continue, Kate. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs. Downstairs. Down, down, downstairs. Downstairs. Uh -huh. Downstairs to the basement. Basement. Basement okay. to do laundry. Thank you. Continue, Brian. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the doors had was locked. Locked. Uh, he locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. Thank you. Continue, Sara Martinez. Please. He called. He called. His, he called to to his neighbor, but neighbor. they didn't. Neighbors, uh, they didn't uh, hear her hear him. Hear him. Okay, hear him. Okay, continue. A looking, luckily, Jerry had fall. Luckily, Jerry had fall to eight. There were food. Excuse me. Okay, Excuse on me. this one, food. Full to eight. Eat. To eat. Thank you. Continue, there Sarita. Were, there were some. Extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. To sleep, he put clothes to sleep. Mm -mm. Yeah, he to put some clothes. Sleep, 
Tut. Tu. Tu sleep. Sleep. Tu. Sleep. 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 We have a place to sleep. Ah, ok, vaya. Sleep. O sea, iniciamos con el sonido de la S. Sleep. 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 Sí, Sleep. generalmente nosotros cuando estamos aprendiendo el inglés, se nos viene esa E. Como nosotros estamos muy acostumbrados a ello, entonces aquí siempre le agregamos ah. la E. Es, decimos, sleep, es sleep. Snake, ah. pero no es así. Omitimos la E e iniciamos con el sonido de la S. Slip. 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 Ok. And he had a place to sleep. Excellent. Ok, thank you. So continue, uh, Mauricio. He put some class from the Laundry on the door and on the floor sleep on the floor and sleep slept on team left on team on them his father of them his father come home Sunday came. morning came home Sunday morning and Pun Jerry in the a basement. Okay, basement. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. We called Jerry late Saturday, May, but he didn't answer the phone. Said his father, "We can home right, right. I'm sorry, we can home right away. We're just happy he's all alright." Okay, thank you. So you can see that there we have that short reading. And based on that reading, we have these questions. So number one says, where, sorry, why did Jerry go to the basement? To do laundry. Okay, he went to do laundry. Excellent. Uh, laundry. Number two, where did Jerry sleep? Slept on the slept floor. On the floor. Yeah. On the floor. Okay, excellent. And the last one. Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Perfect. Okay. Is it right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, and that was basically the final exam. So tell me, any question for it? I have a question. Yes. When uh, when I have to use the, for example, to do laundry. Why don't say to do the laundry? Ah. I want to know when I, I can use the. Okay. Let, let me. Okay, here it is. I'm going to share an information with you right now. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, when are we going to use the in the, the definite article? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Okay, just wait. Here it is. Okay, so this is the definite article. This is the way that we call it in English. And it says that we are going to use this article with a singular or plural noun when it is clear or obvious which person or thing we are talking about. 
For example, we have this. There is a lamp in my bedroom. We mentioned the lamp for the first time. The lamp is next to the desk. Okay. Lo primero, verdad, que tenemos con este artículo es que dice que lo vamos a usar con sustantivos tanto en singular como plural cuando es obvio a qué nosotros estamos refiriéndonos. We have the example, there is a lamp in my bedroom. Hay una lámpara en mi habitación. O sea, yo menciono la lámpara por primera vez. Ahora bien, en la segunda oración, the lamp is next to the desk. Yo ya sé a qué lámpara me estoy refiriendo. Entonces ahí uso lo que es ese artículo. Ok, another thing that we have is that anything which we identify immediately. Es, o sea, es algo que nosotros identificamos inmediatamente. We watched the new Brad Pitt movie last night. O sea, como que ustedes me digan, ah, yo vi la nueva película de donde sale Keanu Reeves. So you already know what movie we're talking about. O sea, ya sabemos de qué película hablamos. Okay. Um, another thing that we have here is the following. So, Graciela, can you read it, please? Yes. Musical instruments. The violin, the guitar, the drums, the flute, the piccolo. She plays the piano. Okay, so whenever we're talking about musical instruments, we're going to use this article too. Okay, siempre que hablemos de instrumentos musicales, vamos a usar lo que es ese artículo. Okay, number four. Um, let me see, Sarita. Hello. Hello. Yes. Teacher. Yes, number four. Something that is unique, unique or unique. there is only one. Unique or there in only one. The sun, the moon, the internet. Excellent. Thank you. También cuando hablamos de algo que es único o hay solamente uno. The sun, the moon, the internet. Si yo les hablo del sol, Nosotros sabemos que solamente tenemos uno, ¿verdad? El que tenemos es único. The moon, the same. We only have moon. one. Sí, solamente tenemos una luna. The internet, that's something that is global. Es algo que es global a nivel mundial. El internet. So, I'm talking about something that is unique. ¿Ok? Es algo que es único o que solamente existe uno. ¿Ok? Um, ok, please. If you want... I can share this information with you. Si gustan, puedo compartir esta información con ustedes, ¿verdad? Para que la tengan. Please, teacher. Okay. Yes, please, teacher. Okay, not a problem. Um, we have the following. Kate, can you read it, please? Name or read? Rivers. Or sand. Rivers, seas, or sands. Oceans. Oh. Oceans, mountain, mo mountain, 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 repeat please. Yes, vaya, la última sílaba no se lee completa, yo digo mountain, 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 mountain. 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 Sí, van a sentir como que la, la puntita de la lengua les queda arriba, como un poquito doblada. Mountain. 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 Ok. There you go. Mountain. Eh, range. Range. Okay. And desert, the, uh, desert. Okay. Always, Always okay. in capitals. Uh, the Mississippi River, the Black Sea, the, Black sea, sea. the, the Andes. Andes, the Sahara oh, des yes. Desert. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we have names of river, seas, oceans, mountain ranges, and deserts. <clears throat> okay, siempre dice acá en mayúsculas. Ok, capitals, estamos hablando de lo que son las mayúsculas. So we have the Mississippi River, the Black Sea, the Andes, and the Sahara Desert. Ok, desert, sorry. Ok. 
Uh, we have the next one, directions, uh, Mauricio. A direction, a cardinal point. <clears throat> the web, the zone S. South, east. Sound is the northwest. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, ya aquí sería otra cosa, ¿verdad? Lo que preguntaba ahí Graciela, que cuándo voy a usar el artículo y cuándo no lo voy a utilizar. Okay, so I have here no article. We use no article with Brian. When and we refer to general ideas, ideas. plurals or ideas, plurals, plurals or uncountable nouns. Uncountable? We don't, uncountable nouns. We do not use the. Religion is an, religion is an important issue. Not the religion is an important issue. Mexican food is spicy, not the Mexican food is spicy. Thank you. Vaya, tenemos esta primera regla, por decirlo así, que dice que cuando nos referimos a ideas plurales o nombres incontables, no utilizamos lo que es ese artículo. Vaya, acá es muy diferente el español. Yo sé que nosotros en español decimos la religión o la comida mexicana, Sin embargo, en inglés, eso no va. Okay, so I'm going to begin. Religion is an important issue. Mexican food is spicy. Okay, hay ciertas cosas que si no, o sea que no lo puedo yo traducir literalmente del español al inglés porque probablemente caiga en esta categoría que no necesito usar lo que es un artículo. Okay. Y porque estoy hablando de lo que son cosas que no se pueden contar o ideas, ¿ok? So, we have the next one, number two. Let me see. Um, Sara. Sí, teacher. Number two, please. Uh, names of people, book and place only it is part of the title people. excuse me title title okay i have i have real romeo and juliet thank you okay so we have the second one tenemos el segundo que dice que son los nombres de persona libros y obras a menos que sea parte del título Por ejemplo, esto es algo bien común. No sé por qué nosotros como salvadoreños decimos la, decirle a la, este, ¿qué? A la Araceli, por ejemplo. Que haga esto. Tenemos eso, ¿verdad? Que siempre decimos, ah, la, no sé quién lo está haciendo. La, ¿qué? La fulanita o la sutanita. So when we're talking about names of people, books and plays, we're not going to use it. Okay, no vamos a usar el artículo. A menos, como dice acá, que sea parte del título. De lo contrario, no. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. So, yes. Uh, but let me check the time. Sí, nos vienen quedando como tres minutos. Va vamos a revisarlo así ya. We have town, cities, states, and countries. Lo que son ciudades, estados, um, ¿qué? Yes. departamentos, o condados, etc. Tenemos Cape Town, Montana, Vietnam, exception. Tenemos algunas excepciones, porque ya esto es parte del nombre propio. The USA, the UK, the Netherlands, the Czech Republic, and the Philippines. Esto porque ya es parte del nombre del país, ¿verdad? En este caso. Ok. Then we have lakes, single islands, continents, or mountains. Ok. Cuando hablamos de lagos, islas, continentes, o montañas. Entonces, we have Lake Victoria, Jamaica, Asia, and Mount Fuji. Ok. Then we have planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. 
los planetas, ¿verdad? Igual no utilizamos lo que es artículo. Sports or games. Soccer, tennis, king and monopoly. Aquí cuando hablamos de deportes o juegos, igualmente no utilizamos el artículo. Yo no puedo decir voy a jugar a el fútbol. I'm going to play to the soccer, porque eso es incorrecto, ¿ok? And the last part that we have is with meals. For example, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and so on, ¿ok? Cuando hablo de meriendas, igualmente no utilizo lo que es el artículo. Probablemente en español nosotros digamos, sí, voy a hacer el desayuno, el almuerzo, la cena. Pero en inglés no lo lleva, ¿ok? Um, is there any questions? No, teacher, thanks for your for su explicación. Muy You're clara. welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to share that information with you. Le voy a compartir esa información para que la tengan y la estudien, ¿verdad? Porque sí, la van a estar ocupando más adelante. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Thank okay, teacher. Thank you. So that's been all for me. Eso ha sido todo de mi parte. Entonces, un placer haberles conocido y haber estado con ustedes estas cuatro semanas. Y nos veremos hasta no sé cuándo, ¿verdad? Hasta que Dios quiera. <risa> hasta pronto, pronto primero Dios. Dios. <risa> primero Dios. Uh, igualmente, si ustedes tienen dudas, comentarios, ¿verdad? Ahí me pueden escribir. Si no, les contesto rápido porque ya saben, yo soy como un chiquitín. Pero ahí estoy más que disponible para ayudarles. Thank you so Gracias, much, teacher. teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. So, bye. Thank you. Bendiciones. Gracias. Bye bye. Gracias, Gracias igual. Buenas noches. Igualmente. Bye. Bye, teacher. teacher. Thank you. Saludos a su bebita. Gracias. Buenas noches. Gracias. Bendiciones. Gracias, Gracias igualmente. Buenas noches. Salud.